uh, when I first got out here right around 4.30, it was feeling kind of hot and muggy. Uh, you know, the dew point was around 50 degrees. But now we're getting actually some outflow wind, uh, which is generated uh, all the way from storms in southwestern New Mexico. Well, that is pumping in some cooler air. So now we are around eight, 98 degrees earlier. Now it's 91. You can see that the wind gusts are pretty high at around 28 miles per hour. So from where I stand and what I can see with that uh, downtown camera, getting kind of dusty, you know, because of all those wind gusts. But areas like Navajo Lake continue to showcase the beauty of our very diverse state. And of course, with that comes diverse weather. Right now, seeing some pretty good shower activity across uh, uh, southern areas of the state. Uh, we are watching uh, the storms in the Sacramento Mountains very closely. It looks like an outflow, uh, which means a lot of wind is going to be pushing toward the Ruidoso area from the west, probably in the next 30 minutes or so. Uh, so that's something that may be uh, elevating those wind speeds down there. Pretty active through Catron County and Socorro County. And you can see that areas up in the northeast portion of the state from Wagon Mound uh, to Clayton are getting kind of your your garden variety thunderstorms, what we would expect for this time of year. So Futurecast says that once we start getting towards sunset hours, these storms will clear out very quickly. They're not going to have the kind of staying power that we uh, saw with the storms last week. Now for uh, Tuesday, I'm expecting to see uh, for tomorrow some better chances across the West. And then Wednesday, unfortunately, is going to bring some pretty big changes. More about that in just one second. Talking about those hot temperatures for areas like uh, uh, the heat advisory for Donia Anna County. Tonight, as I mentioned, those showers are going to be moving out across the state. And we're really going to be seeing uh, the uh, typical monsoon pattern. But unfortunately, that does come with a flood threat across the Southwest Mountains. and. Also on Wednesday, we're going to tap into some really deep moisture. It's going to be a lot more stormy than we would usually expect both Wednesday into Thursday. So that's when the flood threat will return to most burn scars, especially Ruidoso and the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon. Uh, for Friday, scattered showers and storms will be a possibility across western and central New Mexico. And it looks like it'll be a brief break for our friends to the southeast. So as we continue to look for uh, what I'm expecting, especially across the southwest portion of the state, we're going to be getting into some uh, wetter territory for the rest of the week. I'm going to ask Alan to advance my scenes forward. We're going to be talking about Roswell, about 100 degrees for tomorrow. The southwest also going to be uh, pretty hot, expecting about 102 for the Deming area up toward the northwest. It's going to be on the hot side. We will see that storm potential starting up a little bit later on in the week for the Farmington area. So we're talking Thursday into Friday, which should help cool things down. The North Mountains for tomorrow also going to be in the, uh, we'll call it the 70s for higher elevations, but almost 90s for Santa Fe tomorrow, and also continued chance of some showers uh, increasing as we get toward the end of the work week. The Northeast for tomorrow is going to continue to see those temps, uh, which are going to be in the 90s. I'm also expecting the East Mountains to really start to enjoy the cloud cover as we get toward the afternoon, and as we look toward the Albuquerque Metro, it's going to be some high 90s before those rain chances kick in. So very quickly looking for the Rio Rancho area and the Albuquerque Metro rain chances will increase as we get toward the rest of the work week. And that's going to bring some challenges uh, as my counterpart, uh, Alan Shoemaker explains. Hey, Eddie, out here on a sunny day so far, but you see storm clouds in the distance. So this is actually lightning safety awareness week, and this happens a lot during monsoon season here in New Mexico. It starts off dry, gets stormy in the afternoon. So if you're outdoors, you may get caught in a thunderstorm. I'll put some safety tips with the full story on the link below or check it out also on the KOB4 Facebook page because more storms are in the forecast this week.